Hello, my name is Ethan. Today, I'm going to tell you about French and Indian War that happened during Seven Years' War. So, today I'm going to tell you about four things. First, the war star. Next, war's important events. And next, war's effects. Next, war timeline. So, do you know where this war happened? <laughs> How do you know? New York! New York! Oh, you probably read here. Let's see. <laughs> it happened in New York. I'm correct. Yay. Why do you think the war happened in the United States? I don't, I don't know. know. So let's think about that. And war start. The French and Indian War was the North American conflict in a larger imperial war between Great Britain and France, known as the Seven Years' War. The war began in 1756 and ended with an agreement of Paris in 1763. So, the American Indians fought to maintain control of their land and their culture future. The French wanted to trade with the American Indians and control the area. Ooh. Next, war's important events. Important war events. Four things happened in this war. The Battle of Pelzi, the Battle of Carillon, the Battle of Sundorf, the Battle of Kernsdorf. Next is my thinking and the war happened during, in seven years war, seven years. And seven years is a really long time. You can finish in elementary school and you have one more year left. So the people will, will be afraid for a really long time. <clears throat> Let's go to the next page. I'm going to show you a video about the Battle of Palesy. Battle of Palesy, 1757. The consolidation of the British Empire dates back to this war. The East India Company became the undisputed rulers of Bengal after this war. Bengal was in those days a huge province and well endowed with resources. <coughs> The East India Company had been granted rights to duty-free trade by the Mughal rulers as early as 1770. The company misused its privilege. The officers of the company indulged in private trade without any duty and amassed huge profits by buying cheap and selling at huge profits. So as you see, the Battle of Hilsey happened because of these things. And next, the Battle of Carillon. The Battle of Carillon, one of the bloodiest conflicts of the French and Indian War, and a major, major defeat for British. It was fought at Fort Carillon, so it's called as the Battle of Carillon. Next, the Battle of Zondorf. Battle of Zondorf, during Seven Years' War was fought on 25th August 1758 between Russian troops commanded by Count William Furman and a Prussian army commanded by King Frederick the Great. And next, the Battle of Kernstorf. This was the only time in the Seven Years' War that the Prussian army under Frederick's direct control with, with this lost Berlin, only 80 kilometers close, lay open to assault by, by the Prussian and Austrians. Next, war effects. And if you see here, it's more longer than the previous right ones. And because I wrote a, a, saying, a saying that said, that John F. Kennedy said, John F. Kennedy said, mankind must put an end to a war or war will put 
an end to an end mankind. And this is John F. Kennedy. <clears throat> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I clicked the wrong button. Yep. War is fixed. Seven years war changed the balance of power among the brilliant, brilliant, brilliant in Europe. The war ended in 1763 with the Convention of Paris, signed by the Great Britain, Hanover, France, and Spain. Great Britain emerged from a war world power. Prussia and Russia became major powers in Europe. In contrast, the influence of France, Austria, and Spain was greatly reduced. So the war is bad because it kills many people because the peoples are greedy, greed in land and money, also slavery. War. Next, finally, I will show you my, the war timeline. These things happened, and this in 1756, Seven Years' War begins. Next. Peace of Paris, Proclamation of 1763, is signed. These things happened during these days, and next is Boston Massacre. Most thousand duties repealed, and next, Tea Act. Tea Act. Boston Tea Party was at was. And these two things happened after it, and that's the end of the timeline. So, the French and Indian fought to maintain their control of their land and their culture future, also to protect their land. But it happened in the United States. Have you wondered why? It happened in the United States. Let's think about that. And finally, my my presentation is done. Wow.